with caution. Watch the stream instead. Wait, did you did you actually? Oh, you spent the week. Oh my god. Okay, okay, fine. Let me do the prediction first. Oh. Nice. Wait, you figured it out, Blacken? The predictions? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who did the predictions? <clears throat> which which lovely mod did the predictions? Because I was looking at it, but they fixed it. It said Fazor. Oh, gashes. Nice. Fazor versus Smurf Honaker, it said. Wait, I know this map. No, I don't. <laughs> But I do love the green waters, though. All right. I think there was a Dark Tournament version that wasn't balanced, right? So uh, this is a remake of the Dark Tournament map. It could be. There's a few uh, maps yeah. of this palette from a Dark Tournament. From yes. Yeah. I, I I mean I haven't been around, but I was looking for ladder maps uh, a few months ago and uh, come came across all the dark tournament maps and uh, I think I had a toxicity version from DT that uh, had just one oil and was a bit uh, non-symmetrical but this one is yeah this one is I am the bearded symmetric. lady shit Find me on Tinder. Oh, and also I have an OnlyFans. Did you, did you see the Moots message earlier in chat? Wait, wait. It made me laugh. <laughs> Moots is uh, business plans. He said his, you know. I'm turning into a female. Is gonna make an OnlyFans. I'm turning into a female streamer right now. Need to show some more cleavage. Don't to take a shower. <laughs> wait, what? Is, what is Moots doing? Badding good. Thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Um, we already missed a little bit of action. It seems like Margot actually sniped a NG looking at the veteran scene. From Fazar. Yeah, I think he caught it on the way, the way back. Ah, okay. I see. I see. A little bit. Bro, I just, I just put up the wig and already I'm attracting people. You wanna, if you wanna, you know, subscribe to my OnlyFans. There's nothing on there yet, but there will be. Yes, Fazar's still pretty much in control, but that NG snipe was um, very nicely done. And there's some cheeky oils in the corners as well. And yeah. Margo still has his NG up and running, so he's going to take that oil in the top left corner, too. With a nice usage of yeah. the Ranger. I expect Fazar just to go back and capture it, but it might take him a minute. I mean, it's really hard to hold that from Margaret's position, so definitely sure. with the Engineer. Sure, yep. Yeah, I don't think Fazar is actually going to rebuild an NG for it. Oh, he's going to move out the main MCV. What? Yeah, building light tanks. Okay. I like it. Yeah, we've seen this strategy more and more lately. Not only by players like Fazar, but I think you're also like a fan of that black. And, but I feel like you're usually doing that a little bit more when the oils uh, or the expansion is a little bit closer. Because he lost a lot yeah. of downtime now. I usually do it after uh, SD comes out too, so I can get medium tanks out, but it's not mm -hmm. a terrible idea. I mean, I've seen Desperate in this type of build. That's true. It, it could be very overwhelming, especially early on, like facing three line tanks and a decent army supporting that. Yeah, especially yeah. allies defending this, it's a little bit harder. Yep. That being said, it does leave your main base a little bit more vulnerable because you can't build static defenses. Um, but here we go. Here comes the light tanks. 
The ref is going to be taken out. That's actually a really good ref kill already. Uh, that is actually already value in itself. That's going to slow down Margo's eco quite a bit. Um, a harvester will be taken out as well. So, so far, this attack has been very valuable. This pillbox is getting a lot of value too. And Fizzle yeah. is going to Damage done. Go away. It's good. Yep. Yep. But here comes Margo yeah. though. He's going to... Oh, wow. It takes out a harvester just like that. He's got a high amount of rocket density in there. Yeah, oh, no. Okay. I'm going to say, if he goes into that pillbox, it's going to be really bad, but... Mm -hmm. Somehow he's avoiding all of them. So they pretty much traded about even there. Maybe a little yep. bit better for Fizar. I don't know. Mark goes ahead and 7,000 to 48. Destroy. Yep. I mean, Fizar only lost a uh, Harvester. So like, I feel like his eco is going to be still better because he's got a better ref position. Losing that ref for Margo is quite, quite big, actually. Because look how far... He's still mining from that mine close to his ref, but look how much order is outside of that, which is pretty far away. Oh, another harvester has been um, intercepted, trying to go for an eco slide, I guess. And this gives Fazar intel that he's expecting an eco to be here, and he's exactly right. There is a refinery sitting there, so he will be able to take that out. That's going to be a huge blow to Margo's eco. Yeah, Margo in the meantime is looking for an expo where there is none. So half his army is out of position. Yeah. This is huge. This army is going to get... Yeah. Yeah. There's only one rocket left there, I think. So, I mean, three lightings is still kind of scary, but... Mm-hmm. He's going to lose them all to just that medium tank. And he shouldn't lose a hard... Oh, yep. Margaret's other army got found. Uh, not a great angle of attack, but... Nope, nice stop command there from uh, Margo. Still trying to shut down Fazar here. Margo, in the meantime, is still taking a lot of map control. He did lose a lot of expansions, but he's also rebuilding fast in terms of expansions. That being said, though, Fazar definitely did a lot of damage. Margo is stalling, but so is Fazar, and Margo still has doubled the army value. In comparison to Fazar, that extra oil in uh, top left and bottom right corner are really good for Margo right now. Fazar uh, went back to building Harvester, or at least one, but uh, he's got one extra on a dead patch in the north. He needs to transfer down. Yep. And he's moving his one army out, but Margaret's not going to be too worried about that. He should have enough there, and that attack in the bottom is going to be dangerous. Oh, don't lose an MCV lose. though. Yeah, he will. Still keeps the ref intact. That is somewhat good, but losing that MCV is a huge deal. Here comes the counter though. My layer from Fazar, but he needs to deal with that army. Otherwise, the expansion is going to be rough. But he's got a ton of pillboxes spread out here. If micro, micro properly, he can do some really nice damage to the infantry. Uh, such a bad conga line. Yeah. Yeah, really nice concave here from Margo. My layer coming back to do some crushes? Wow. Nice. <laughs> wow. The value from the mine layer. Was, was that micro? No. Was I don't think so. Crazy. I think that was just yeah. purely going back to the SD. It's, it's hard to tell. Uh, but I think Fasar is in a lot of trouble here. He is. He's going to lose his war factory. There's likely. two medium tanks on the bottom too. Killing those harvest. Oh, yeah, yeah, really nice. Also very smart to do an eco raid like that with the two medium tanks amidst all this chaos. That MCV yeah. is going to go down, probably. Well, I think Margo got this. Yeah, yeah. those two harvesters, yeah. Fazar is dead. Yeah, yeah, Fazar is done for. Really well played from Margo there. Suffered a lot of damage in terms of losing eco, but he also did a very good job of, you know, just expanding really quickly and just keep pumping out refineries. Yeah, eco raids are only good if you can, uh, you know, keep your army alive and get out without a lot, not a lot of stuff. If your opponent constantly is building refs, then it's really not that effective. 
Exactly. Man. So Margo taking the first game over Fazar. What is this tournament? <laughs> and we're jumping right in. All right. Wait, where's your sandbags? Aesthetic. So, I mean, we know that Fazzy has the potential to become tilted a little bit, but I, I don't know if it really affects his game. Yeah. Fazzy, I did not get that sense from him when I played him in that Best of Eleven series. Yeah. He seemed uh, kind of cool and collected the entire Yeah, I mean, maybe rarely, but we, I've, I have seen him like GG when losing the NG in minute one and stuff like that but yeah maybe it was what it was a few months ago so maybe now that he feels more comfortable in the game um that's not the case just like that anymore that's a very interesting engineer route for margaret i'm not an unamused man this is just how i look cut me some slack i'm dead inside just like every other <laughs> open RA player in here. It is, after all, middle-aged men pretending to be gamers, right? Okay, um, Milkman is going to leave this uh, stream as a co-caster tonight. <laughs> tonight. I was referring to myself ma no, mainly. No, so. no, 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 I felt, I felt attacked. Put on some shades. Do I have shades in here? I actually do have shades in here somewhere. My Terminator shades, but I don't know where they are. Bro, I've got so much shit in here that I haven't used. I've got these um, five meters LG, uh, LED stri uh, strips that I could use to like, you know, lighten the mood, literally. Or, you know, it's probably good to uh, use that for my OnlyFans. Yeah, you want something nice and special. Yeah, yeah, I need like a pink background. What do oh, the wow. black spots on the map do? Wait, what? They're like, you can't build on them. They're just debris spots. Oh, they look like Fazar spilled, moved. spilled oil. Fazar moved his rifles away. Now he's going to lose that. If, uh, oh. Good usage of the grins again from Margo. We've seen some really good uh, grin use so far. Yeah, not having that uh, gem mine definitely changes things in this map a lot. Yep. It sure does. Where are my fucking shades? My shades of gray. This is like the first time I've seen the communication centers ever captured on this map though. Nobody's going for the really? corner oil dirt. Yeah, I've, for some reason, I, I don't go for them. I don't think they matter too much. Fuck it. I, I, I always forget about the corner oil. Um, but, I mean, the comm center, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a great scout on the flank. Yeah, I like the comm center. It's always, my games is always like, minute three, I remember, oh yeah, shit, there's corner oils, so let's go for one. <laughs> you know, I really, the thing I really like about, uh, I like men's maps most of the time is he always uses a lot of these, um, Capturable objectives. Most of his maps always have forward commands, always have comm centers, and always have oils on them. Map has monkey pox. Uh, yeah, yeah, but knowing that the black spots are not buildable is, is valuable. I had. I've had my MCV sitting among those undeployed for a while. Ah, cool. Yeah, I... you found out the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like another grand APC again. Bazaar has a pillbox there, so he should be mostly protected, but his SD is in a very vulnerable spot. Caution! Still not eating nothing. I'm trying to lose weight. Oh, it's a joke. I'm waiting for my wife to get home so she can make me food. Master server communication failed. Yes, that's going to be fixed. Um, that's um, normally like the advertisement that my server does for 
my stream and host ah. that hasn't been converted to the new release milkman i don't know who was singing on your stream that day but fuck their voice was nice that's what i said yeah who was that wasn't that a recording <laughs> But do you remember this guy Surveillance who dropped in the day after there was a shitstorm about the new release? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 He he jumped in the uh, uh, competitive Discord voice and gave us a short uh, concert. Yeah. Left the left the Discord server immediately after. Then Moose <laughs> turned up again. So who knows who that was? <laughs> Oh, this could be really good for Mar if that tank gets in position. Well, the pillbox support is really good here. Heavy tank is yeah. uh, not in front of the pillbox. This army is getting shredded from Margo. I mean, I, I do have to give it to Margo. Like, he was aware that Fazar wanted that expansion because he lost the forward command. So his um, intentions were really good, but Fazar was just ready. I, I can almost guarantee that that was the uh, the tank not moving after a second attack move that kind of caused that. Oh, you might be right. Who do you think will win the cup? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, the thing is, I I am. It's either going to be Fazar, Black, and ah. Uh, if I have to give my top five out of these ten players, so like fifty percent, <laughs> and two of them are already eliminated, but I think it's gonna be Fazar, Blackened, Mint, Doomer, and Spud. But I don't know who Spud is. I have no idea if he's good or not. So I'm actually looking forward to the next game as well. Um, Maybe don't don't call Creo out. Yeah, that's true. He's gotten really good. Quickly. True. Creo versus Doomer is going to be a really good match as well. But I, I had the opportunity to play Creo a, a while ago. That was, those were some fun, fun matches too. Talking about fun, Fazar's um, Harvesters are not having fun. But they escape once again with a Magic Pixel. We've seen a lot of Magic P Pixel clutches escapes with MCVs and Harvesters today. Big flank on the bottom. Going to kill an MCV. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Then the MC goes down. That's probably going to be game, I think. It became yeah. a trench war because they're fighting in between the sandbags. Oh, uh, Harvester, will it get away? No, it will not. Yeah, the eco raid attempt from Margo was really good, but he got so distracted that he didn't see the flank in his main base. Oh, the Harvesters weren't pulled back. Or they're being used to crushes. I think they're being used for crushes, but oh, if like if you see something like that, pulling harvesters to defend, you know it's they're in a desperate um, situation. And he just lost three, four harvesters in total, and an MCV. And he uh, W selected all his harvesters, so he's not mining anywhere. Oh jeez, oh dear. How many harvesters he has left? Three in total. Yeah, not for long. Riff is going yep. to be taken out here. Flame Tower is not going to be able to protect that in time. Attacks will be coming everywhere now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, 18k versus 14k. It's still doable for Margo, but that gap is going to become a lot bigger soon enough. The army values are the same, or close to. But he will just he will be re reacting for the next four or five minutes. Yeah, he will be outproduced as well, soon enough. It's a pretty good engagement for both players. Lots of big rocket density for Fazar, so all these heavy tanks are going to go down. Fazar is doing the, some cleaning here. He's the janitor right now on this map. Yeah, Maron, one functioning harvester, one sitting there idle. Yeah, plus a very vulnerable main base right now. This was a very good game for Fazar. He's on Radar Dome Tech as well. He's just expanding like... Tech Center <laughs> introduction. Will this be the classic Tanya Love GG? Uh, 
I don't think it's gonna even last till tech center. Ooh, is getting sold as well. I'm not sure if I like that. Because he was going to lose it regardless, yes. Um, <clears throat> but he could have probably cleaned those up while he was killing the buildings. Now he's also going to lose his uh, defending army here. All right. Margot calls it GG. We've got a set on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently 1-1. One to one. The reigning that champion from Canada out. that Moots was predicting is uh, might fall here. Here we go. Act like nothing happened, chat. Yeah, it was a dark. Yeah, yeah I was testing the the newest dark tournament. You know, dark tournament it was number just, uh, seven. Are we at uh, seven? I, I think. I think we're at seven right that. now. Oh. We set uh, six in the uh, also the map categories I set up with Caution Cup six. Yeah, I was telling uh, Black and early as well. Like I was, I wanted to create a new forum post for the Cautious Cup, and I was looking at the old one to uh, you know to refresh my memory what kind of what the rules were and and how I organized the tournament back then. And I was looking at it and it said like the tournament will start on the 18th of March. Um, 1700 UTC. So it was the exact same date a year ago. I was like, oh, this is easy. So I could just copy paste the forum post. Oh, sometimes I love that I can be lazy and it just, you know, helps me out as well. All right, we got Fazar X versus Caution X. Where are all these X's coming from? Oh, both use my X. What a lovely thing. Not like you own the letter or something. Fucking grow up, man. <laughs> Alright, we've got the... This is the first set that actually comes down to a 1-1. And the final game. We've got Margo in the blue. Naming himself against the best streamer. And we got Fazar in here. Who is playing this game as a blind person. Sort of. Are going for a War Factory first build. Yep, and a lot of barbed wire. You know, you know what I, you know what I feel like. Um, infantry should be able to move through barbed wire, but it should damage them immensely. Thoughts? And they should be slowed down as well because of it. I think that's actually been brought up. Will be cool. But then again, that would make it overpowered. Cause like, Soviet is the only one that gets wire fins, right? Or am I crazy? Right. You'd have to do something else for the Allied sandbag. What the fuck? It's I like mean, we're gonna I, see I, the. The thing that has been, you know, suggested for sandbags, shooting from, you know, the, the cell next to them, you can shoot over them. Would be interesting. For both players or for the one owning the sandbags. I mean, it doesn't matter, but, you know, as the one owning the sandbags, you would probably position your infantry next to it, so you have the advantage. <clears throat> uh, that would be interesting, but then I would probably give the uh, sandbags vision for the owning player. Maybe, like, the same vision as a fake building has? That's, that like, zero. Okay, well, then maybe a little bit more. Otherwise, I feel like there's no, like added value for the one making the sandbag you get what i mean yeah but isn't it enough added value that your infantry doesn't get shot by other infantry i mean i mean yeah but the same could be said for a one that doesn't own the sandbags right Whereas... this is gonna be risky oh there's grins in there there's five grins yep. in there yep. oh it, it, dead. yep if he had managed to kill all three of those rock soldiers with the squish, that could have been something interesting. That could have been good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just add, yeah, it would turn into Company of Heroes, that's true. 
Sandbag should throw sand in the eyes of infantry if shot at turning them into Fazar. <laughs> Imagine like, boom, color filter applied. There's Fasar's lag spike. But I'm and still here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Everybody's here. I think that's just Fazar randomly gets those on this new release for some reason. Margo's base looks like an AI base, all like clamped up together. These buildings. <laughs> the MCV's trapped. It's actually yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> Help me, please. All right. Very wow. similar MCV timings. Margot was a little bit faster, but he lost that extra yeah. that advantage because his MCV was trapped. Yeah, this is a very low eco map. Um, that being said, like people said, it's a low eco map, but let me tell you, this one has more eco uh, than Jungle Jungle Boogie. Looking at some of these expansions, like Jungle Boogie doesn't have a single double mine expansion. No, but it does have the gems. Yeah, but they're stuck behind... Weren't they stuck behind a bridge? Broken bridge? Yeah, yeah, to repair a bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the gem mines are also really far away, so you could potentially go for that, but... I don't know. I would I would never recommend... At least, that's what I did. I would never go for the gem mine as my first expansion on Jungle Boogie. Oh, no, no, no. You go for, like, the middle and then the outside and then the gems. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't typically expand to, like, that back one behind, like, the, the sandbar and everything. It's, like, a extra. Okay, both players doing a double MCV move out, and I kind of agree doing that here. Um, an interesting scout technician from Fazar actually seeing this expansion. That's good intel for him. And Fazar's doing a good job. This is something that I saw Cav doing a lot when he just started playing open arrays. He puts a lot of scouts on uh, pretty much every orb patch on, on his opponent. So he gets that intel where his opponent is expanding towards. So now he has also he has a pretty good idea where Margo is hiding. And he's definitely not on this entire pot on the map here on the right side. Oh, very early radar dome from uh, Margo. Uh, radar's probably. I mean, they're, it's so low eco though, so it's hard. But radar could be good, just because it is a bigger map. Yeah, yeah. Blackhawks could be. Uh, Blackhawks or um, Yaks could be very useful here. We got a small tank eco raid coming in. But I'm hoping that Fazar is going to create a deception uh, in the meantime. Which we might see coming out. Yeah, he's already Mark mined did. out here. He needs an extra ref. Oh, there it is. Mars broke. Um, yeah, he. he I think he went for the Raider Dome a little bit too fast. He, I think he should have got that extra refinery up and running on the left side before he went for Raider Dome. These two medium tanks are in the bottom. We're actually going to be really good. Margo might be distracted. Especially oh, by this sorry, upcoming attack. Yeah, he needs to set up a good concave. Yeah. Yeah, half of his army's not even fighting on the left. He needs to move that down, but he's getting a lot of value with these two medium tanks. He just killed three, two harvesters in total. Yeah, if he A moves, Margaret is going to fold. He's very cautious right now. <laughs> but yeah, but I, I can't see him pulling this back. He would have... Uh, yeah, okay, he has his airfield, but... If this engagement happens, it's over. Six These two K medium behind. tanks are still here. I can't believe they're just staring at each other. <laughs> oh, oh Margo's going in.
I'm surprised Fazar didn't want to take that. I feel like he could have seen a lot of this army with the Ranger. That but Yak still. is going to get some good scout information, but it's going the wrong way. Yeah, Fazar is still looking good. Moods was fucked by nine. <laughs> Bro. Oh, he's, he's, I think he saw the army. Yeah, he definitely saw it, but he's not reacting. Yeah. Is there an engine in the ranger? No, okay. No. But maybe Mar must have missed it. I don't know, he's just... Because that MC is going to die. Yeah, nice multi-prong here again. The army was reacting to the eco raid on the left, where Margo is still hanging out and about. And Fazar had free reign over here. He should move towards the main base, forcing Margo to make a choice. Raider Dome now for Fazar as well. Wow, that was really oh, good. Wow. Yak sweep. Nice Yak. Oh. Yeah, that was really good. Rarely see them being this good and surviving after all. I mean, I know, right? Yeah, I didn't think they would survive, but that was crazy. Really nicely done, but this is gonna do it though. I think Margo is still looking for that army, but I don't think he realized that it. Yeah, he sees it now. Mm -hmm. But that's a big army, he can't stop that. Really nice play from Fazar this last game. Decent V2. But uh, Mars losing his expansion up north. Yeah, very nicely done by Fazar, just going back and forth. Full control here in this game, too. And now Fazar can actually see the army as well with the Black Hog. That's why he went back in. Yak goes down. Heavy tanks go down. Everything in terms of army value is being lost. MCV is under attack here. And the main base is being cleaned up. Alright, I'm gonna jump out because I gotta go to the bathroom and then I gotta play, so. Yep. Oh, never mind. The game's Good over. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Alright, that being said, Fazar takes it 2 to 1 over Margo. Very, very nice set this one was. Absolutely, hands down. Thank you to Margo for playing as well. And Fazar is going to be the first person that is going to sit comfortably in the semifinals.